so let's get back to our next video so what we have here is we have the vehicle that we built previously you should have whichever vehicle you've overlaid and removed the old mesh from from the f15 and you'll have your new vehicle here with the person sat roughly in the right place um, and everything kind of disappeared other than the things you need so what we're going to do now is actually we're just going to do a test what we want to do is do a little test uh, to see what it looks like in game so what we're going to do is going to take all our uh, landing gear in this case i got uh, conveniently located in the landing gear group and i'm just going to make that disappear uh, and that makes it really easy actually in this case because of the way it's been built uh, and you can see there's no landing gear visible now which makes it easier for me to import into the game without doing much to it um, yeah, the afterburner is going to look in a funny place and all the vapor is going to be in a funny place etc but that, that doesn't matter right now we don't really care about that at the moment this is just literally a flight test to see that you know it looks right in game that the size of the cockpit looks okay remembering that all the things are going to be double overlaid and all the switches and everything but we don't care about that either it's literally getting the plane looking like it's flying in the air that's really what I care about right now so we've removed the landing gear and what we're going to do is re-add this into the back into the prefab so replace it and click replace anyway and once that's done that bit what we'll then do is going to what we need to do is actually add it into our asset bundle now the asset bundle it currently has all the various bits and pieces in here these mirror like the mirrors loadouts and the actual mirage itself etc and actually we don't really need to remove any of those elements because what we're going to do is tell it how to access them so it doesn't really make any difference. So the first thing we need to do is turn into the F15 base here and click Mirage 2000. So we're going to add it into Mirage 2000 bundle. And the reason is we just want to do a test initially. Now in your version, it'll be the F15 STOL bundle or whatever I've called it when we do this later, probably F15 STOL. You want to add it into the F15 STOL bundle. And then when you do the export, it will appear as that. Um, I will show you how you access that in terms of coding changes. Uh, so once we're in there, we'll then come into the scriptable objects down here or left and we want the F15S tool we created before. So this is the pre play vehicle we created earlier on. So we select from there the Mirage 2000 and actually what I would do is I'd also include the FBX just because it sometimes can cause you a problem if it's not. Actually it's already included as it goes but it probably wouldn't have been. I think I may have added this at some point in the past. So you now have the F15 STL there in it, you have that other piece, and if we go into prefab instance, we also have the F15 base in there. So all the elements are needed in order to uh, fly and add it into the game are in that in that folder, or in that asset bundle. And asset bundles are just a way of gathering up all the various elements and meshes and everything else into a single bundle that you export, and then the code accesses that bundle and extracts it when it needs it. So what we then do is we go up to Window and Asset Bundle Browser. This is the thing we installed at the beginning. And you can see on here it shows you the name is Mirage 2000 of the bundle. And you can see it shows you the whole list of stuff that's included in that bundle. Which is dozens and dozens of elements. Now, you can reduce some of these elements once you know what you're doing. But at the moment we, we don't need to do that. We're just going to do a test. So we click on Build at the top. Standalone Windows is fine. You want the output path to be correct. In this case, we've done it into... Uh, here and then I would always choose to do standard compression uh, when you're doing it normally now actually as it goes for convenience sake early on when you don't doing it you don't want to take too long to do it you could probably set it to no compression and do the build initially um, but standard compression should be the way you do it normally so let's just do it without any compression because that'd be quicker so we then click build and it will start adding all the elements into the asset bundle ready for us to access it. And when you don't do compression, it's actually reasonably quick. Uh, and you just start doing it with compression, it can take about two or three minutes to actually rebuild the asset bundle correctly. So here we are, it's like doing all the exports and imports into the asset bundle. And in a minute, it will say it's done, hopefully usually takes about a minute maybe when you're not doing compression so we're almost at the end here like I said normally this would take you about three minutes if you're doing it uh, final when you want it to be smaller so that's good so we've done that now so in this case we've actually exported it to there and what we can do is we could go out to here and look up our VTOL VR mods my list 
going for a 15 and you can see uh, there's a mi the Mirage 2000 export is there now there's an F15 one there which is a bit weird I'm not sure what will be in it but okay fine <laughs> fine so the Mirage 2000 one has its 400 meg size in there or 600 meg actually as it goes so it's quite big not unsurprising and now what we're going to do is we're actually going to go and start editing the code now I'll provide you with a copy of the code um, and you can see in here this is actually I'm editing the Mirage 2 one as it goes um, just because that's how I'm working on it you'll get one that's probably called cat or custom template or whatever it happens to be and initially all you're doing is a really really simple thing of doing a simple change to it so you don't need to go through a lot of fancy stuff to make it fly so we're going to open it up in Microsoft Visual Studio. I've got 2022, you can use whichever variation you've got. I think it has to be 2017 onwards. But other than that, I don't think it matters too much. Dee -dee 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 -dee. So when I open this up, take a little bit of time. It's quite a big project. Okay, so here we have all the code see there's various bits of code out here etc but initially the only one we really really care about right now is in this one and it's called aircraftinfo.cs okay and there are actually only three things you can do in aircraftinfo.cs the first one is the name of the player vehicle so we're going to have to change that because we need to tell it what the name of the player vehicle is. And the other thing we need to do is tell it what the asset bundle name is. So because we've not changed that, we can just leave that as Mirage 2000. When we want to do it later, we'll come back and change this to actually make it the name we want it to be. But in this case, we've got this one, which is the asset bundle here. And the asset bundle there is called, from memory, let's go look at it, F15 S tall, all in caps. And it's got asset, which is what it's got on the end here. So what we do, Type F15 S tall. That's it. Uh, we could give it a different um, number. So these are unique identifiers because we need to give it somewhere in the list to go. Uh, it doesn't really matter where you put it, but there are existing ones of the 4 is equal to Mirage and 11 is equal to Gav. Um, in the future, these should be resolved in a different way. But for now, you're just going to have to take it that that's how we do it. So let's just call it 12 so it is a different number in case I decided to load anything different. And we click save on that and that's literally all there is to change at this moment in time like I say in future there is a couple of other places things we will need to change about the the game but let's just leave it for that for now because that's all that really matters at this moment and what we do is click build solution hopefully it should build correctly the first time which it has and it says oh your file is in here go and find it so as it goes I happen to know where that is which is in custom Minecraft build debug and you can see it's just been updated right this minute okay so now that we've actually uh, what created our bundle files and our other bits what I'm going to do is go into the mod folder and I'll create a new folder I'm going to call this f15 stom okay and I'm going to go into uh, the area where we just exported our script from which I happen to know is in, in here but you'll find it in wherever you just an export from as we saw a minute ago take the DLL file and we'll go back to our mod folder I'm going to paste it in there and then we are going to go to our exported asset bundle, which we exported for V called VR mods F15, and take our Mirage 2000 file from there. Now I can't find it. <laughs> Let's go backwards. It's F15 S tall. Click paste. It's also quite a big file. Now, if you've used a uh, aircraft before, then or any mod before, then you can just go and copy your info for JSON file. 
So as an example, I've got one here from the Mirage 2000. So I'm going to copy that one. And I'm going to drop it in the F15S file. Now in this case, it actually works out quite well. But all that really you, ma you care about is the name and DLL. That's all that's needed to get it to show up in the screen. Um, the name will be F hyphen fifteen S Tom. And it's got the name of custom name class template Mirage 2 already. So I'll click file, save. And at that point we should be able to load it into game. Okay, let's go do that. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start up um, our Detail VR mob loader. I click it and play. And we'll load into game. Just wait for a second for it to load up. Okay, here we go. Come on, Baha. So click start game. Go into mods, and as you can see, it now shows up in here F15 S tall. Okay, we haven't put any description in or anything yet, so but that doesn't matter yet. We don't care about that bit yet. Click load, and it's loaded. That's what it says. Click select pilot, select pilot. You can see, okay, so the we know about the image being wrong because that's part of the player vehicle, but we don't care about that. It has got the right name and it has got the right information in there, though. So, we know we're kind of getting there. It's loaded in the F15 vehicle, uh, player vehicle. So, we must be on a good starting point. So, what you're going to click on is click select flight. You're going to want to start from some like carry landing practice because you need something that's in the air before you start because you don't want to have to worry about uh, landing gear and all that kind of stuff initially. So click on select. Click on configure. And there we go. We have, oh, <laughs> we have our F15 S tall. In this case, hopefully, at this stage, you should have your aircraft in. If you have done, if you're getting a black screen at this point, it tells it should tell you that you've done something wrong. And that likely you what you've missed is putting something into the asset bundle, whether that's the FBX, or whether that's the play vehicle, or whether it's the um the vehicle. Or if you don't even get to this stage, if you're getting problems and it's not even showing up in the list, it's because you've done something wrong. It's as simple as that. I can't make it any more more obvious than that. You either haven't copied over the DLL or you haven't copied over the vehicle correctly. It's got to be one of those things. Okay. We click on launch. Put our helmet on. Hopefully, we're in the aircraft. Okay. Out there. Are you up correctly? Dev screen. Hit the stick. There we go. We left 50. Unfortunately, I've crushed it. That's because I'm messing up. Yeah, but fundamentally, I guess what I'll try to show you there. Landing gear. Landing gear. Landing gear. Landing gear. Is that we have a working aircraft? Landing gear. Landing gear. Yes. Okay. We've got all the other shit in here. That's, you know, all the other shiz in here. 
but fundamentally we have now have a working F-15 or you should have a working other aircraft hopefully yeah lots of things wrong yes it's not ideal but we are getting there more to say than that. It all seems to be working very broadly. Um, see, I'm in the aircraft. All these things are Obviously, leftovers from the Mirage that we have to start the cockpit. Well, fundamentally, we've got an F 15. Over G. Aren't they wrong way? So, I think it's the end of that video. We now have a flyable version of your model. Hopefully. Hopefully, you do as well as I do.